young people's racial and cultural identities are critically important. And we have to acknowledge that the way we have set up opportunities for learning and development are not always respectful of the diversity <laughs> that we have in this country. As we are thinking about how to maximize chances that young people are thriving, it's important to let them lead with their identity. Not bury it, but lead with it. Show it off, be proud of it, actually display it, to perform it, to put it up on the stage, to put it up on the screen, to make videos about it, to write poetry about it. So they are really bringing themselves into the room. If I come into a space and I don't trust this space and I don't bring my full self into this space, the behavior that you see may not be reflection of my competence, it's a reflection of me not being motivated to show you what I have because I don't trust this situation. If I don't have a relationship with you and I don't get to be a little bit more of who I am, you're gonna slow down my learning and development by not knowing me. Schools and community organizations and families and the overall sort of environment of the community are all playing a role in shaping the experiences and contexts and relationships where learning happens. That basically is what the science of learning and development has told us, that all adults, all settings, all experiences matter.